last series of drills that I think are really critical to get your young athletes going with bands is just quick start drills. You can do them anywhere because all you're going to need is about a yard and a half space. Now we've got Carter hooked up to a red band. Obviously if your athletes are starting to stretch the band too far, if they're going ahead and they need more strength, you need to increase their tension. If you want to link bands together, I recommend it, but again, if you don't have the space to do that, you're going to go ahead and have to go one band. Now what Carter's going to just work on is just quick one-step reaction drills. That's all he's going to work on. He's not going to worry, worry about coming back fast. He's just going to get into a good athletic position and break down. We'll go forward first using a plyo step. You can do it off sound. I'm going to let Carter just do it off his own instinctive movement. So he's down and he can take off whenever he wants. Good, and he's going to come back. He wants to work on how quick can he get out. Sets himself and he goes. He's going to do about three reps for us as we sit here. Good, now the thing you want to watch is make sure that that foot is dropping underneath his hip and that he's not reaching out too far. Let's go two more. Good. And get really quick off of it and working on how fast can you get that first step going. There you go. Now, from there we're going to go to sideways. Car's going to go ahead and turn. There's two drills we can do sideways. We can do a shuffle drill, we can do a turn and go drill. So Carter's going to be down first, he's going to do shuffle drill, so he's just going to get quick step. The key will be to make sure that he moves this foot first. So he's down into an athletic position, he's going to shuffle out as quick as he can when he's ready. Good. He wants to get out. He's going to get that foot moving out of there as fast as he can. You're going to see it move once and then twice and that's going to be it. So he's down, he's going to move, that's perfect, that's exactly what you want. Reset, get out as quick as you can. Last one. Good. Now he's going to go to turn and go. So now he's just going to worry about getting that turn and getting out. He's not worried about how far he runs. He's worried about how quick can he turn the corner, get on that first step, and then be done. Good. A couple things you want to watch for is make sure they don't get that foot too far out in front. He needs to pick it up, but he really just picking it up and putting it back down so he can get out there. While he's doing that, he's pushing off this leg as hard as he possibly can. And then the last thing we're really working on is arm action. Let his arms fly. He should be pulling with this arm and he's punching with that arm as he's getting out of there. Good. The thing I always tell athletes is make sure you drive that opposite arm back, that lead arm, get it back. Get it out of there. Pull it hard and get it out. The last drill we're going to do is back pedals. He's just going to get into a back pedal position. He's going to get himself postured where he wants. He's going to give me two quick steps going backwards. One, two, that's it, and then recover back. Last thing, do it again. Now, the way you can do this with your athletes, go one more for me, Carter. The way you can do this with your athletes is just have them do 10 reps of each position. 10 reps. They should take about three seconds, come on back, reset themselves, go again. So it shouldn't take them more than about 30 seconds to maybe 40 seconds to do 10 reps of all three of these. Notice the distance. Yard and a half distance, that's all we're using. All we're worried about is quick bursts. Make sure your young athlete's in a small enough band so they can burst and make sure they're not overstretching the band when they're doing these quick one-step drills.